All right, this is another quick bit of uh, Adobe Lightroom 4 bite-sized training. Um, I've imported my catalog from uh, Lightroom 3 into Lightroom 4, and you may notice if you do the same kind of thing, you'll end up with this little exclamation mark down at the bottom here. And what it's telling you is that it's really um, wants to update and upgrade your images into the Lightroom 4 uh, calibration. And if we look over here, in camera calibration, we can see that uh, our process is 2010. Uh, we can actually upgrade it into 2012. Now, there might be a slight change in your images. Um, before you do this, I suggest you just click on this and we can look at the before and after and see if actually anything changes in your image. In fact, let's just cycle through this. That's better. So we've got a split between the bit. If you just click, keep clicking around on there, or if you can go go to the drop down menu we can have a look and see what happens i'm going to just now click on the update my current process to the 2012 which is the lightroom 4 process and see if anything happens and you'll get this little dialog box coming up um it'll ask you a few questions review the changes before and after no because we're going to do it on a split screen well actually let's keep that on there anyway um you can actually update all your film strip photographs um i just want to update this one uh, and it says that moderate to significant visual changes may occur. Well, let's have a look. So I'm going to update this. And you see that's gone there. And uh, all I can see really is not a lot has changed on that. Now, the, the thing you might find that changes, because this image has been worked on, uh, is that if you are looking at your images, uh, which is straight from the camera with no processing on them, and you uh, update the process, you might find um, that there's a slight change in things. But if you do get an exclamation mark, just click on it. Um, you can upgrade your whole film strip if you want, or just one image at a time, um, and see what happens. Or go to the before and after, have a cycle through. You can see there one image next to another image. Um, let's just hit the tab key again. Um, F5, F6, and you can actually see there what's happening. Maybe the highlights have changed slightly. That's it. There may be no change whatsoever. Yes, it's a bit paler in there. It's a bit softer in the shadows. That's a bit harder in the shadows. So there's actually some light is coming into the shadows. You can see there's a slight variation in the two processes. Uh, so that's um, another bit of light size. Lightroom bite sized. A light size bite room. Yes, time for some caffeine, I think. So, from me, that's bye for now.